Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to another video. Today we have over here a commander deck opening. This is Phantom Premonition for Coldheim. Now there only are two of these commander decks. If you guys haven't seen the other one, which is the Elvish one, definitely go check that out. That should have came out before this particular video. But with that being said, we have this one to open up. I'm very excited about this. Uh, lots of very interesting cards here. This one is going to be a white blue deck. So uh, definitely something that is uh, going to be very interesting. Obviously, it's a very common uh, combination between the two colors, but with that being said, there's not much else to really say other than to get this particular product open. So, uh, let's just see how I can get this opened up. Okay, so inside we obviously pry this out, which Obviously, uh, as we saw last time, we have the box itself. Very nice here, Phantom Premonition, as it says. Uh, we take this out. We also have over here our markers for life, a life counter, that is. Uh, inside, we have uh, a bit of like an instruction booklet or whatever, uh, learn to play booklet. But we can just uh, simply fold this up and we get ourselves here a nice cardboard box to actually store our commander deck, which is uh, quite nice, actually. Not too bad. Um, should be able to sleeve up at least a 100 card single sleeved deck, which is not too bad But we'll set that aside because we want to see everything else here Obviously, this is just the regular cardboard for it and we move that aside. We get ourselves our deck uh, Shouldn't be anything else here So we can just simply put that aside We'll set that aside and we have over here our deck. So this is our commander for this particular deck here. This is Renar, the Ever Watchful, a very interesting legendary creature, Spirit Warrior. It is a mythic, very nice, with flying and vigilance, which is very t powerful, of course, but I think you can kind of expect that out of a white creature. So yeah, with that being said, let's just uh, set that aside for the time being and let's just find out what we actually have for the cards itself. So let's find out over here. Alright, so we simply just take this open, pull it out like this, get the foils and everything, and set that aside over there. Alright, so here is the box itself. Looks really nice here uh, when actually properly folded up. And trust me, it will fit inside. I mean, look at the deck itself. Once you sleeve it up, it should still fit. Don't worry about that. But with that being said, let's now see what's actually in this particular deck here. Lots of very interesting cards to actually look at, of course. Now, I don't know anything about this because obviously I am someone who's relatively new to Magic, but you guys could definitely tell me what's actually in this particular set that's actually good, that you could actually uh, use in Commander uh, really well here. Tell me what staples are actually used in Commander because uh, that's something I really want to know here. Uh, this seems like it's a good card because you destroy all creatures or you destroy all artifacts and enchantments, which is an AoE card. Uh, definitely fantastic, which is uh, great for board wiping in Commander. But uh, yeah, aside from that, I don't really know too much about anything else here. Uh, I do know a card called Def Tafari's Protection, so hopefully we can get this in this particular uh, one here, but I don't know about that might just be one of those expensive cards that we'll have to uh, go searching for on our own, but Aside from this, uh, this is essentially the uh, rest of the deck itself. Um, I'm just going through these, not too sure of what these cards actually can do. I know Mile Drifter is a great card. It's a simple drop that uh, just allows you to draw two cards. So that's, yeah, it's really fantastic, of course. Uh, I believe that's a staple as well in the deck. Uh, but aside from that, I'm not too sure about uh, what other magic cards are really good for a commander deck, you know, Arcane Signets, uh, Azorius Signets, Burnished Heart, fantastic, uh, just to, I believe it's for ramping, uh, but aside from that, yeah, I just don't know too much about this as well. Uh, my knowledge on the game is not particularly great. We do know that these two are great cards, Swift Foot Boots and Soul Ring. Uh, we also have a few of these other lands which is great and all, but aside from that, yeah, that's all I really know. So a few other regular planes here. We have uh, regular uh, islands here. Uh, just always nice to appreciate uh, the different artwork that's actually involved with all of this. 
uh, just looking really great. But uh, yeah, here's a few more additional cards behind it. Um, just really fun. Now, mind you, these commander decks, particularly the cold home ones, are half the price of the regular commanders that you'd usually get for other sets where we get like five and stuff. So the fact that you're only paying half the price for still a commander deck, definitely fantastic, you know. Uh, it's just that we don't get as many new cards as we would in others, but I think this is great particularly for someone like me who is just getting into magic and is trying to accumulate a nice collection of cards to actually use. So because of that, it makes it really nice to be able to just buy commander decks at a really uh, cheap price or at least a budget price and that way just uh, gain value out of it by being able to accumulate whatever cards I can. Uh, so that's fantastic. But uh, with that being said, we do have a few more tokens here. And uh, yeah, that's definitely it for this particular deck. That's very nice overall. Uh, very excited to try this out. One of the things that I uh, always like to do here is I like to try out the deck first by playing it at least once uh, unmodified. And then later on, as I start to understand the uh, whole play style behind the deck, I then slowly adjust it bit by bit until I work out something amazing. If I don't like the deck, I just dismantle it and and I could reuse the cards for a different commander deck anyway. But nevertheless, it is always worth trying the deck at least once just to kind of get an idea of uh, different things. I think uh, it's always just a great learning experience. Uh, the commander format is something that is so unique to uh, every other TCG as well. Just being able to go into a multiplayer uh, play and then also just work around so many different commanders to choose from as well and adapt different play styles. It's fantastic. It's just so nice that uh, something like this is actually available. But overall, I'm definitely not uh, knowledgeable. So... Uh, yeah, it would be great if you guys could leave me some different tips down below on what I could actually do to kind of like get ready before I get into a proper commander game. Uh, but yeah, this has definitely been uh, quite the eye-opening experience for me. It is quite fun. But other than that, leave me your thoughts as to what you think about this particular uh, commander deck. It is something that I just picked up because it was really affordable as opposed to all the other commander decks, which was double the price of this. But nevertheless, it is uh, still something that uh, just looks nice overall. Uh, but yeah, with that being said, thanks for joining me today. I hope to see you again in the next video. But till then, have a great day, guys.